Hey everybody, this is Charlotte Piper and I'm coming to you from my living room of my lovely home here in Colorado. And I wanted to introduce a um, concept that I've actually been... I wanted to introduce a concept that I've more or less been teaching myself to members of my team throughout the years when I've actually been uh, in management over sales and sales teams and various things of that nature and it's something that's um, called the spirit of cooperation and my personal philosophy has always been that the spirit of co cooperation will always win out over the spirit of competition. And recently, there's been a um, Harvard Business Journal article published to confirm what I've always been practicing personally and teaching in my uh, management strategies. Now. For years, this has been my personal philosophy, and basically what it boils down to is in order to prosper, you must help other people prosper first. And for everyone, everyone pretty much has a different definition of prosperity. And um, basically the mindset is, is that... Um, a an entire body or a collective action through a, an aligned group of individuals can accomplish more than people that are con continuously and constantly pitting one another against and I mean this is not to say that a little bit of friendly competition once in a while isn't healthy but uh, we do live in a society where it's is indicated that the only way for you to uh, really get ahead is to basically the only way to really get ahead is to basically compete against somebody else and what I have to say to that is that we are all in this together and in order to thrive we're going to have to embrace the spirit of cooperation and that goes double for business cooperation now this is a time-tested concept as a matter of fact uh, from mil military to peaceful communities the top-tiered business organizations have long embraced the idea that we can get more done together than we can do separated or two or more heads are better than one is the mentality even highly influential business leaders motivational speakers and ph philosophical seers communicate the same message in order to thrive we must work together lest we be pulled apart this is something that I bring up and I feel is especially pertinent now considering the current current state of affairs in my home state of Colorado. As many of you may be aware, we recently have been afflicted by some pretty devastating floods here that have um, pretty much wreaked havoc on the entire state of Colorado. And I actually talked about that more in my video that I posted yesterday, so if you need more details, please feel free to view that video. But basically, the reason why I bring it up is because I've actually been able to personally witness people just basically, just pretty much coming out of the woodwork to assist others, perfect strangers that they might just normally walk by, uh, you know, on the street without giving them a second glance, these, the communities are reaching out to help everyone. And it's with the spirit of cooperation because I think that when we act out of a basic sense of humanity, we understand that 
we are more prosperous when we cooperate with one another as opposed to competing with with each other. I personally feel like maybe it's you know it's kind of an unfortunate circumstance that we have to have something devastating as devastating as what has happened in the last week bring that out in us but I also see a glimmer of hope in the fact that there's several people that are becoming more aware of how well they can benefit them, not just themselves but each other by embracing this spirit of cooperation and that's always been my personal business philosophy if I help you succeed then by proxy I'm going to succeed it's just the way that the universal law is written so um, given that information I want to invite you if you are looking for um, you know a leadership that can help you succeed in your personal endeavors, professional endeavors, whatever the case may be, I want to invite you to visit me on my blog and let's connect, let's find out what you are seeking to achieve and let's help you get there. Um, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video today and I will see you again on Friday when we talk about the importance of being you. Thanks a lot. Visit the blog and see you soon.